Hey guys, welcome back to the Tried Truth. My name is Mike. Today I want to review Azaro Poor Home Wild Mint. Been waiting uh, all through the Christmas holiday for this, but you know, anything coming in the mail has just been really hectic. Real nice box there. You know, you kind of actually really nice uh, graphic design there on the back of the box. You don't see that every day. Uh, so thumbs up to Azaro for that one. This series has four in it, like Naughty Leather, Ginger Lover, um, Hot Pepper, and then Wild Mint. Um, anyway, here's the bottle, okay? And um, real nice bottle, standard Azaro pour home bottles. Um, anyway, what, what's it smell like, okay? That's all that matters, really, okay? Obviously, with the Accords, um, let's see, the Accords are... Um, Real, real simple. I mean, it's not, uh, it's not a complex fragrance. Okay, so the accords are green, aquatic, aromatic, fresh, spicy, patchouli, woody, warm, spicy, and um, you know, uh, on application, this one, it hits you pretty hard and fast with that mint, and then it, uh, you know, after five, six, seven minutes, it starts to dry down into this really warm, spicy, patchouli. You get a fruitiness from the Calypsone, which is basically like melon, watermelon, I guess. Um, it's best worn, you know, uh, spring and summer, uh, fall, uh, but you can wear it in the winter too. Um, it's, it's a very fresh, clean scent, you know. Um, so if you want something different for your collection that is just not like everything else, then, you know, this could definitely be for you. Um, it's definitely... Um, Definitely one that I don't recommend blind buying, okay? First of all, it's around $30. You might get it a little bit less. But the thing is, is, you know, only blind buy this if you're looking for something extreme, okay? It's extreme. It's it's not a subtle type of, oh, it's got a hint of mint in there. No, this is this is mint all the way. It's 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 on steroids with the mint. Um but thankfully, you know. Here's the weird thing. When you look at the note chart, the note pyramid, there's three. And it doesn't even break them down into top, mid, or bottom, or bass, or heart notes. It's just flat, straight, show the notes, mint, calypso, patchouli. And that's it. Um, yeah, I, you look at the ingredients, and that's all you get. Anyway, um, that's it. And, you know, like with the patchouli, that's what saves it for me in my book. It, it, it does it well. Uh, it's kind of along, and then trust me when I say this, it's not like Versace Arrows or Versace Arrows Flame. But with with the, the mint and the patchouli and maybe the Calypsone, you get a you get a vibe, okay? Like if you know the if you know the fragrances and you know what those smell like, then when you smell this after five minutes, not at first, but after five minutes, you start to pick that up, that, that heat. And it's got that similarity to Versace Eros Flame. Now those fragrances are better and they do a lot more as far as transitional uh, from top, mid to dry down. This one, I'm not sure how far it goes as far as dry down because there's just nothing else in it. So I'm thinking it's just going to stay right around where it's at. Now, I, I got the mint and the patchouli. The Calypso, I don't even pick it up at this point. And now, more than ever, the patchouli it took over and you can't really, I don't know. I guess a minty patchouli is what I'm picking up. And, and that's fine because, um, you know, it, it's, it's pretty good stuff. It's not bad, okay? Like I said, if you're going to blind buy this, uh, do it only expecting something that's just different, uh, very minty, very aggressive on the mint. So when, when you first apply it, it's very strong, almost make your eyes water. But after a few minutes, it does get really pleasant and really beautiful. And if you're looking for something different for your collection, yeah, this is a good one. Older uh, crowd for this, um, I'd give it about... 30 and up on this one. Yeah, about 30 and up for this one, guys. And, I, and the reason I say that is because it's just, 
it's not something that you're just going to want to get out there and take a chance on. Um, if you're into trying different stuff, if, if you know, you have a libido where you kind of like, you want something different, then this is definitely something different because I don't have anything else that smells like this. Um, it, it's not the worst blind buy ever for me. I, I actually like it, but I don't love it. Okay. So I'm going to give it a seven. Um, maybe a 6.5. Okay. It's good for what it is. Um, you know, if I was a mint lover, it'd be a 10 all day, but I, you know, I, when I saw a review on it by Max Forty, you know, I was interested enough at $30. I figured, all right, screw it. I'll do a blind buy on it. And I, and I like it. Okay. But I don't love it. I don't hate it. It's just kind of like, okay, all right, I bought it. I'm not too committed to it. I don't think I'll give it away. Because I do like it enough, it's something I could just uh, go overkill for work uh, because I, I do, you know, labor intensive jobs. So I, I can waste this and I don't even care. I can kind of go eight or 10 sprays and it is what it is. I don't think it's going to overpower or bother anybody. Um, and thank goodness for the patchouli in here because that saves this fragrance for me. And it made it okay. It just made it okay. Without it, I would have never worn it. Um, but because of the patchouli, I'll, I'll, I like it. And that's the only thing that saves it for me. Anyway, um, I wish I would have seen this review before I bought this because I probably wouldn't have. And, um, what I'll tell you is this, if you like different, then you might like it. If you like mint, then you'll love it. If you like patchouli, you might like it. Um, you know. But yeah, I, I, I guess a 6.5 to a 7 uh, and thumbs up, but definitely not blind buy worthy. So I'd be careful with this one. If you do decide to pull the trigger on it and you, and you get it, man, I'd really like to know what you think about it. Um, if you own it, I'd really like to know what you think about it. I mean, there's a lot of reviews on it. I'm not going to waste anybody's time reading those because they're, they're good and bad, mostly bad though. And like I said, had I done more research, I probably wouldn't even have bought this. I don't know. I got on YouTube first thing in the morning one day, and I, it was the first video I saw. Max Forti did his uh, favorite blind buys of 2020, and this was like number one or number two. And um, I thought, what a harmless, you know, attempt at uh, getting something I might like at 30 bucks. And I don't know. It... it I don't regret it, but I don't love it either, guys. So if you tread into this one, tread lightly. So just uh, good luck with your purchases, and thanks for stopping by.